I want to take this moment to just have a have a little chat what's going on um, so currently I'm staying at my parents main house which is on the same floor as my tiny house I'm currently in the tiny house hi so they spent their winters in Spain and because the tiny house is kind of tricky during the winter uh, partly because it's not finished and partly because there's no running water and the heating is a bit tricky and at the moment the electricity is just really expensive so uh, and my heating is partly because of like partly of that so I just kind of want to save some money and I'm gonna stay at my parents main house but yeah I just came to the tiny house to check that everything is okay here and it gets a bit cold so I want to come here once in a while and check that everything's fine. I probably should get like a, mm, what do you call those things? Like like some sort of machine that will um, measure the the humidity here. Like if it if it get mo if it gets moist, I'm worried about my stuff getting moldy or ruined and that. It's currently the second of January. 2023 so happy new year to everyone soon it's also my birthday was it last year or a few years ago when i made a video talking about like this dark night of the soul i got emotional talking about like my past few years and how difficult they have been and i made a video when i was really feeling like things are gonna change and i'm gonna be a lot like motivated to change my life for the happier and and all that it sounds great and I did some work like I'm not being just idle of doing nothing like I really have been trying to improve things that aren't that I'm not happy about but as uh, universe seemed to test me I don't know but it felt like last year has been one of the most difficult years of my life somehow it just was just really hard 
uh, I'm a type of person that really believes in that magic during New Year's. I just feel like we are given a second chance. Like, it's just like a fresh start to just start your year again. And, and I guess because it's like the season here is so like radical if like, you really see the like the snow and the coldness and then the spring slowly comes the days get longer and the things start growing it just feels it just feels so fresh like i don't know and i also i guess because my birthday is like quite right like after new year's so maybe i relate like that fresh start to my birthday as well um <clears throat> But yeah, last year, 2022, was, um, it was a difficult year for me, somehow. Um, and actually, I, I wrote a poem about my past, like, difficult years. And I thought I'd share it with you guys today. Um, I'm a bit shy, I don't think I have shared my poetry on this channel. Um, because I'm always too shy of, like, spelling mistakes. Kind of like that I'm not using English correctly because I write in English, but um, I don't know, I guess because it's a poem, right? So it doesn't have to be maybe correctly written even, like it's just kind of like my experience, my feelings and I don't know, anyway, I wrote a poem and I thought I'd just share it. I woke up one day around like 5am and I just felt like writing it, so I wrote it on my phone. After it all ended, I was lost at sea. For years I spent time in the storms. Then, one day, I saw light far away. Knowing all the rowing I needed to do before safety, the further the lighthouse seemed. My energy wasted on the pain that got me lost and the pain that I needed to go through to get there. Days turned to months and then to a year and another year. Maybe I imagined the light to all. Till one day I arrived. There was no celebration nor congratulations, but there was peace that I knew were worth more than thousands of applause. I am sorry if you relate to this story. Just know your lighthouse is out there too, and one day you shall too be the light. So that's the poem I wrote. I don't know, there's still some parts that I feel like I wanna edit, but like, um, yeah, just, that's how sometimes I process things, is that I, I write a lot in general, like I keep a diary and then I also write poems. And, um, what else do I wanna say? I just, I have goals and projects that I'm excited for 2023, like, this year is hopefully better than the last and I hope I have different attitude towards some things and I will be working on like my mental health and just make the best of it like I'm turning 30 in a few days probably I'm already 30 when this video comes out so I keep hearing that when you hit 30, life is just so much better, so <laughs> fingers crossed that magic will happen to me as well. And I'm also, I am also want to say that I'm really grateful for all the followers and I've noticed a lot of new followers, so thank you for being here. I hope you all enjoy these videos that I put out. Um, there haven't been as many as the first year I started making videos, I know, I know that, like I know Instead of posting once a week, I maybe post once a month or once in two months, but um, that's that's mainly because of my mental health haven't hasn't been the best. So I haven't been focusing on filming. I just felt like I just filmed wherever I felt like filming, and hopefully I will feel like filming a lot more this year. I do feel inspired at the moment, and I'm really happy about that. Now I need to go on with my day. Hopefully you're having a great day too.
Hello again! It's been a few days since the last time I was filming. It was my birthday and I celebrated it with my brother and his girlfriend. Nothing too big, we were just hanging out, playing board games, eating. The party kind of had like a little hobbit theme going on. Not much, just a tiny bit. I have a long list of things I need to be doing. That I have been putting off for a couple of days so I'm gonna try and do those today I also have a new prank that I've been working on since last autumn um, it's been a slow process and it's kind of waiting for my motivation to just kick in a bit better so um, I'm kind of been keeping it as a secret for now and I think I'm still gonna keep it a secret just until I can get it going a bit better <laughs> okay so time to start those few things they are quite small things and nice things on my to-do list but still I've been putting them off uh, so now I'm gonna start doing that
guys so i haven't been filming for the past few days and yesterday and today i have spent a lot of time editing the video that you're just watching and i want to say a few words before before it ends um, because at the moment it's just randomly cut off and as i was editing this video i realized that sometimes my chats can be a bit random and I feel like my brain is going faster than my words so what happens is that I start a sentence and I'm starting another one before I finish the first one that's just one example how sometimes um, yeah, it can be a bit confusing even editing me is just kind of looking at the material sometimes with a very confused face but I'm trying to get better at that so you get a better idea what's really happening and what's on my mind but that being said I still hope that you enjoy this a bit of an artsy vlog and I want to thank you so much for watching and spending these January moments with me I hope everyone's 2023 has started well and I will see you next time bye